If you're just joining us, 208 new coronavirus cases were reported today in San Diego, including 21 at San Diego State. And joining us right now to break down the very latest developments is County Supervisor Nathan Fletcher. Always a pleasure, sir. Thanks for joining us tonight. Yeah, thank you for having me. Well, let's begin with these continuing cases at SDSU. They are still on the rise and they appear to be counted toward reopening tiers. Uh, what do you make of that? Well, I don't think they should be counted towards reopening tiers. Uh, it's my opinion. I've certainly advocated that to the state. Uh, I think it is kind of a community within a community. Um, and I think San Diego State is doing the best they can to isolate, uh, to cord, uh, quarantine, to test, and to try and get this under control. Uh, I, I would hope we would have the ability to separate those cases out. It is kind of an isolated event, um, an instance. But nonetheless, it's something that we feared and, and we're concerned about. And San Diego State certainly has uh, seen the lion's share of the cases, but we have a lot of colleges coming back. Uh, we got K through 12 trying to come back. Uh, we're coming out of Labor Day weekend. We certainly saw what happened coming out of Memorial Day weekend. And we have a whole slew of new businesses that just a few weeks ago reopened. And so to have any chance to, to not tick back up to that higher tier, uh, is really going to going to take a heroic uh, and incredible effort on the part of the public to be very vigilant. Let me ask you about a very important meeting that's coming up tomorrow for the Board of Supervisors and your colleague Jim Desmond has been pushing for all businesses to reopen in San Diego. You, of course, have taken a more a cautious approach to this. What are your thoughts? That's a, a big meeting tomorrow. Well, I think what he's proposing is absolutely insane. Uh, I, I think we can reasonably disagree uh, at times on philosophical beliefs or values. Uh, but, you know, he's proposed herd immunity via infection and herd immunity via infection would mean millions of Americans would die. Our hospital system would be overwhelmed. Our economy would collapse. And I recognize we're in a political season. And, you know, sometimes I'm taking positions that may not be the most popular out there. But I believe that we need to protect people. We need to be cautious. And it's not just about saving lives, which I care deeply about. But the most damaging thing to our economy is the on again, off again approach. And so the very folks who undermine our public health efforts, who question our doctors, uh, who tell people that this is all a hoax, are the same people that are contributing to increased spread. That increased spread contributes to businesses having to reclose, um, which is economically worse for them than a slower, steady, safer economic recovery. And I hope my board uh, will reject this, this, this horribly uh, crafted and ill-conceived, dangerous idea. Let me ask you about the state metrics. We've been holding the case rate at 6.9% per 100,000 residents. That's just below the 7% mark, and that would shift us really back into the widespread tier. Now, the state comes out with a new assessment of all the counties tomorrow. Are your fingers crossed tonight? I've got to ask you about that. Well, they are. I mean, I'm hopeful. And, and, and I, I want to give a, a note of caution that, that if tomorrow our numbers are higher, it doesn't mean we bump back up into that tier. Uh, you have to have numbers in the higher tier for two consecutive weeks uh, before you officially move into it. Um, and so, you know, we'd have a, a little opportunity to hopefully get better numbers the second week. But, you know, Phil, this, this was my concern when we reopened everything a few weeks ago. I felt like we were repeating the mistakes of June where we did too much too soon, too fast. And, you know, I think psychologically it's hard for us to go up and down. You know, I have been on the more cautious side and, and I continue to, to, to be there. Um, because I believe it is what is right and appropriate, not only to protect people, but to ensure a smooth economic recovery. I also want to give our schools a, a chance to, to reopen and reopen safely, get some kids back in classes. And so what we're dealing with is very difficult and it's very hard. Uh, and I know it's hard. It's hard for doctors and nurses, small businesses. I was out at one today. It's very hard. Uh, but we have to we have to summon the courage uh, to be able to fight through this in a responsible way and to do the difficult things. You know, before we went on, I, I told you that I took a field trip uh, this past weekend up to the North County Fair Mall, which is one of the few indoor malls that we have here in San Diego, because I just really wanted to see how the public was responding. I sort of told you that I thought, you know, many businesses had shut down for good. Some were, were not open, but they had stock. And then it just seemed to me it was, it was just kind of sad. It wasn't very crowded. What's, what's your take on that? Well, I think a lot of people are cautious and reluctant to go to indoor settings. Uh, and I think a lot of folks are finding other ways to, to get the, the services and things that they need. Um, you know, I, I certainly do everything I can to try and patronize and support our, our local businesses. You know, I mentioned to you, I was out at one today, a family business, uh, several generations. The daughter's now taken over and running. And she said, look, we're going to figure out how to make it work. We're in small business, which is hard. But we're also in small businesses because we're creative. And so a lot of people are doing deliveries and curbside pickup and other things. Uh, but no doubt this is having a real impact. 
I've got to ask you a couple of quick questions about the wildfires. We really just got our first big test with a valley fire the past week. How would you grade the response? I think we did a tremendous job responding. I think uh, our firefighters uh, did an incredible job. Uh, the coordination, uh, when you really look at the multiple agencies involved, you look at the role the military stepped up to play to help out. Uh, you look at what communities did uh, in, in handling handling that. And I think, I think across the board, we did a great job. But I am concerned because the danger of wildfires is increasing. The realities of climate change have hit us. Uh, they are serious, they are significant, and we need to really take that seriously. All right, Supervisor Fletcher, we really do appreciate you taking time, and hopefully uh, we won't have to be talking to you about any more wildfires. We're in fire season, but uh, let's keep our fingers crossed for that as well. Yeah, let's hope. Thank you so much. All right, have a good evening.